everybody, this is Alan from OC Nerf, and today we're going to be looking at the Nerf Mega Hot Shock. Now, the uh, new style of um, review videos that I'm going to be doing is in the vein of oh, doing an <laughs> unboxing portion of the video, then I go ahead and play with this blaster for a few days, maybe a couple of weeks, then come back and film the rest of this review so I can give you my honest opinion about a blaster. It's also going to be including a chronograph test and an accuracy test, which I've done in the past. So to give you a better representation of what this blaster means to us and uh, what my actual review of the blaster is. So that being said, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Okay, and we've unboxed the hot shock. Inside the box comes the blaster itself. And just two, just two uh, mega darts. I guess that's one here and one up here in the storage spot. So that's it. We got two. The back of the box shows you all the information, instructions how to use it. So we've got a uh, load here, pull back here, and pull the trigger. So here's all that information. Okay, so here is the blaster itself. I was very excited to see this blaster when it was uh, um, being leaked, the news about this blaster being leaked, because I love my um, Night Finder, Fire Strike, Side Strike, uh, Tech Target Eliminator style single shot um, pullback direct plunger pistols. Those are really fun and some of my favorite things to mod and shoot just because they're so small and yet so awesome and modified. So this is the Hot Shock, it shoots the Mega Darts. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, do the firing test and chronograph. Okay, we're going to do a chronograph reading with the Hot Shock. We'll see how this goes inside this tiny barrel. 53. Five, forty-eight. Might hit the sides there. Fifty, forty-one. I'm gonna retest and reshoot one more of these, just because I feel like I'm hitting the sides. Fifty. Okay, so it's averaging about 50. That's significantly lower than I was expecting. That's pretty close to a big shock. Um, that's kind of disappointing, hot shock. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a accuracy test on the Nerf Mega Hot Shock. And we're going to be seeing how accurate we can get to hitting the center. So I'm going to be, first of all, aiming right there dead center to see where that is. Then I'll make some adjustments accordingly. just underneath the dark, the dark board, so I was aiming here and then going down there. I'm going to go ahead and aim for this inner flow right here. So now that all the statistical information is out, let's go ahead and take a look at this blaster and give you my review on it. So this blaster is a single shot pistol, as I mentioned, and it is for the Mega Line, so it shoots the larger new Mega Darts, and does work well with the uh, Busby Ultratech Max Distance Darts, which are the uh, sticky dart version, uh, sorry, the suction cut version 
of the Mega Elites, um, Elite Darts. Unfortunately, this blaster had a lot of underwhelming Porsche, uh, things about it. So, number one was this grip. This grip is really small for a Mega Blaster. I don't understand that. Everything about the Mega line. Uh, that right there is a Mega Mastodon that is still in its box. Everything, everything about the Mega line, which I've got every blaster in the Mega line with the exception of the Lightning Bow, is oversized. And yet, what is that? I don't understand. Um, that's about my only gripe with the, with the ergonomics of this blaster, but it is a pretty significant one because that is just really, really annoying. The pullback here is actually kind of interesting. It's just two tiny little knobs which fit really well to kind of feeling like you're, you're kind of uh, pulling back and knocking it um, with just two fingers. No complaints there. It works really well. The second underwhelming portion of this is despite it being a new blaster, despite it being an orange trigger and, uh, instead of a gray triggered big shocks, it performs slightly above a big shock. And that is a big shock. Um, I thought it would be a lot better. I thought this inline plunger would be a lot better. But there is something to note about it. <clears throat> this blaster, while designed uh, in such a way that would seem like it would be more efficient, isn't for what I can assume to be a number of reasons. One is this is right here. If you can see here, this right here is where the plunger tube ends, so to speak, but not really. So the dart itself goes in about that far, so it ends right there. However, this area here, which I'm assuming is right about here, looks like it should be the plunger tube, which looks like it should have a lot of power. This draw itself is pretty significant, right? It's like three and a half fingers, four fingers maybe. It looks like it should have a lot of power behind it. However, if you see where my finger is here, and this, this right here, the space in between those two fingers, is dead space. If I hold this up to the light, you'll be able to see where the black mark is, where the O-ring is. That's all dead space. Now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a modification guide for this blaster, but you're going to see exactly why this is so bad. And that right there is a big part of it. So that dead space is just horrible for this blaster. Um, that aside, I do still find a lot of modding potential for this blaster. Uh, the reason I picked it up, I picked up a couple actually, is because I do want to um, do a full modification guide for this. Um, pretty typical to this type of blaster. First thing is I'm going to remove that god-awful dead space, then put in a beefy spring, then rebarrel it to fire elites, and we should have something that's easily going to be breaking 100, 100 feet flat. So that's the idea anyway. Um, so this is my review of the Hot Shock, and for $10, I definitely still wanted to purchase it. It is a good candidate for modifications, in my opinion, despite its the pressing performance out of the box. Um, if you have any questions about that or if you disagree with me about the performance of this blaster out of the box, if you've got any other ideas for me, uh, let me know in the comments section below. If you uh, if you have a favorite Mega Blaster, let me know too. I'd kind of like to hear from you as I do like this line myself. I love the aesthetics and I, uh, I do like the gimmick of the larger darts. Um, as always, like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. They're fun.